name is Kilun. I am uh, the manager of this uh, DGS Academy. It's a branch of the guitar store. I've always been uh, in this industry for more than 15 years. What I'm doing here is to, uh, to train students okay, to become uh, musicians and also to provide uh, different platforms for them to perform and then uh, to, uh, I would say to offer opportunities for them to work uh, in the industry. Uh, actually, a lot of friends of mine, uh, they're also like you know, telling uh, it's not good to produce uh, uh, works in Malaysia here because uh, uh, less opportunities, uh, less chances to get exposed. All this can be done, okay, provided the government support at the first place and also it has to be, it has to be done uh, at a very uh, early stage, like for example, uh, primary school because we need a lot of this kind of activities to go on to, in order to promote uh, our local culture. Hi, I'm Choi Yong Shen from Green Reef Productions. I'm a YouTuber. I think that they have low courage to try to adjust to new environments and try new things. I would hope that they would step out their comfort zone and try to make new things such as music, videos. I hope that you guys would release your work in Malaysia because you would help to grow this circle. By the, doing all this, we would all help this circle to grow more larger and more modern. So yeah, hope you guys support Malaysian artworks and do publish it on Malaysia. Hi, my name is uh, Ashwin Gobina. I am a musician slash producer slash lecturer slash a lot of other things. <laughs> uh, I run a record label and production house called Nade Studios and um, I play in my band called Nadir also and I session for other artists and bands. I am aware of people's mentality about Malaysian products um, in the sense of the arts. <coughs> in the sense of the arts, there's, there's this mentality that anything from the US or from the UK or from Western countries is obviously better. In fact, I know, um, I know for a fact that Malaysian talents, Malaysian artists, whatever, in any form, they are in fact, if not better, they're at the same level as Westerners, as Western artists. Um, and most of the, the the younger generation absorb their 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 movies, their music, you know, their arts, the theatre, everything, mostly through the internet. They're not trying hard enough to do their own thing. They're not trying to showcase Malaysian products or Malaysian art forms, you know, and the ones who are doing that are, are unknown. People don't know about it because they're still, they're, they're so far away, you know, there's no mass uh, communication <laughs> of those things. If everyone moves away from Malaysia and tries to make it there rather than doing it here, I think it, it, there's no sincerity, there's no pride in being Malaysian, there's no pride in bringing out Malaysian art. The more support we have for Malaysian uh, products, um, the better it's going to be in the future. Don't expect things to come overnight. That's what I, that's my advice. You, you have to work at it. 